All right, back on the horse today. Um, I'm not going to record the first part of this. Uh, I'm going to be working on the uh, reproductive organs of the horse, <laughs> and I'm not going to record that uh, at all. But uh, I'll be back as soon as I get done with that part and uh, get started on the rest of the horse. All right, reproductive organs. Whenever I was in a gallery showing and demonstrating art, my sculpting while I was there, and I started working on the reproductive organs of a horse, there, it never failed. A mother would come in with two little kids, and they'd be standing there watching me working on it, and I wouldn't know that they were watching me or else I would have stopped working on it. But they would stand there watching. <laughs> And inevitably, the uh, child would ask the mother, Mommy, what's he doing? <laughs> and uh, I just didn't want to explain what I was doing. So I don't, uh, for the kids' sakes, I do not show this part. All right, I'm working on the inside part of the leg. It's hard to video this part because it's in an awkward position. Okay. So you got the bone of the leg right here exposed. There's this muscle here is just in front of that bone. And this muscle it stretches from here down to behind the... Uh, uh, joint of the uh, leg is the other muscle that comes next to the bone, but the bone has no major muscles over the bone. And uh, that's complicated. Let me try to show you. Here's the uh, leg of the horse. That's the bone right there. And you can see it's fully exposed. There's no muscle on it. And uh, you got that muscle there, and then you got this major muscle here. And then you got the joint. It, it is really handy to have this maquette because it's hard to understand these things unless you actually see it in three dimension and you can actually turn the uh, maquette and see exactly what's going on there. Drawings are great and anatomy drawings are wonderful but uh, they don't really give you the feel of what's going on and uh, you gotta have something like a maquette to go by. If you can afford it, this is a great maquette to get uh, that I've been using for the uh, muscles. And that's from uh, skull, from anatomytools.com. I'm not being paid to tell you that, by the way. I tell you that only because I feel it's nice to be able to pass on information that helps you. So if you have to save up your money to get one, you should do it. And also, they do sell out real quick, so they may not have them when you get ready to order one. You may have to wait for a few months. Now you can see why I took the uh, tail off, so I can see more clearly the uh, areas that I need to sculpt. 
I got a little ahead of myself putting the tail on. All right, I'm going to work on this leg, but because the uh, support is right in front of it, uh, I'm not going to be able to video what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a while and uh, come back uh, when I get that uh, shaped up. And uh, I've got some monster clay uh, softening up right now because that's what I'm going to make my hooves out of because it holds the shape better. And these hooves, as you can see, get banged up pretty bad. All right, be right back. Well, as you can see, I've already made the uh, hooves. I didn't show how I make them because I came up with a little technique to make them years ago. And it really made it simpler. I really struggled making the hooves and making them look like hooves. And... Uh, I show how to do this in a in a couple of the uh, videos that I've got on creating a horse. And uh, if you're interested in that, uh, you might want to take a look at my uh, review of my instructional videos, which is below this video on YouTube. Anyway. I'm just building the ground up to the uh, the hoof right now. The nice thing about this monster clay over this uh, plastiline clay that I use, it uh, does hold its shape better. Now, somebody asked me why I don't sculpt in monster clay. Well, it takes a certain technique to sculpt in monster clay. You have to really know what you're doing and if you don't you can struggle like a beginner and I am too old to go back to trying to reteach myself to sculpt so I'm going to stick with my uh, plastiline clay all right it's getting there, slow but sure. The inside of the leg was really hard to work on because it's inside and it makes it difficult to get the hands in there. But uh, I'm happy the way it turned out. The hooves turned out beautiful and uh, they're going to look great tomorrow. I'll uh, continue tomorrow. Well, I won't continue tomorrow. I'm going to take the weekend off starting tomorrow. It's a Memorial Day weekend, and uh, I'm going to take advantage of that weekend just to get a breath. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend with family and friends, uh, at barbecues or whatever you want to do tomorrow or over the weekend. Uh, just be safe, okay? I want you back here next week. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.